I came to DC for the spring meeting. I run an organization called Eco Champions and we're a youth-led organization. We work at the intersection of climate change and education. So I've been at the World Bank for more than 10 years now. Uh, time flies. Climate change fits into our spring meeting because today climate change is part of the development challenge. So the spring meetings here are about development and poverty reduction. Climate is a part of that, so climate is everywhere. This is my first time in DC. Everyone is quite busy, always running around. You can see everyone working fast, carrying documents, having meetings and meetings and meetings. So yeah, a lot of work. The role of the, the spring meeting is, I mean, in fact, there are multiple spring meetings. There is a formal track where you have all of the meetings with the board, the development committee, and so on. There are interactions with delegations from all over the world. And there is even more the informal process, meeting tons of people in the corridors, having discussions about what people are doing, new innovation, what has worked, what hasn't worked. And so it gives a lot of idea about what to do next. I went to COP27 and then I met one of GP's staff and we got talking and that conversation grew into, you know, me being a GP leader. GP is the Global Partnership for Education and um, as a GP leader, I'm also responsible for like advocacy and also pushing, you know, our governments and leaders to do the right thing when it comes to access to quality education. I met the GP CEO, Laura, and she was really warm. And then we had conversations about the work that I do and how that ties back also to what GP does in countries that they work with, like Nigeria. I think education is really important because it's literally the bedrock of any development. So if we're not teaching about climate change, we'll always have reactionary leaders that would not think ahead of the time. And so it's very important to invest in climate education. I had meetings with bilateral delegations from countries or our development partners. I had a few technical meetings, including at the White House, on how to make sure our macroeconomic and financial models that we use to do, for instance, the budget, take climate issues into account. I had a lot of random meetings in the corridors with, with people who were telling me about what they have been doing and what we could do together. And, and some closed door meetings on how some of the projects or like reports or analytical work that we're doing, how they are advancing. And this is where we get the positive and the negative feedback. And that's really important to have, including and especially the, the, the difficult issues on the table so that we do better over time. I was also at the launch event um, for the Climate Smart Education Systems Framework, which is very important, it's like an action point for what governments, leaders can do to incorporate climate education into their learning system. It was really important to mention, you know, the intersection between education and climate change and how climate change affects education and how education can also impact, you know, climate change, building skills and knowledge for people to take action and be a little bit more resilient in their communities when they face some of these challenges. A lot of the value is this huge exchange of information globally on, on what's happening and, and what we can do better. The challenge is to fit everything in just a few days. It sounds a bit crazy, you have a lot of people, it's very hectic. But at the same time, if you don't have those moments where people compare what they are doing and people exchange on what they have learned, without this exchange of information, it would be much, much less efficient. The value of it is, is really huge. The fact that we can bring people from different experiences, different countries, different realities to work on a solution that can affect everyone. It was so beautiful to also see like young people like me at this meeting because it's not something you get to see every time. It's very important we have young people meaningfully engaged. All of this is built on this idea that there are some unacceptable situations in the world and we have to do something about them. Young people have a way of being upset about them, which we really need to keep the momentum there is a risk of having this like, as a normal job. And it's not a normal job. Like we're trying to achieve great things and, and we need this energy behind us. Everything that is being discussed right now is really about us and the future generations to come. We, we might be young, but we can bring in fresh perspective, different lived experiences because we're more affected by these issues and help shape some of the policies and all the conversations around developments. Thank you.